Hello crafty people and welcome to my channel Craftyella. My name is Gabby and I'm so happy that you're here. Today I have a special video. It's a collaboration video. We'll be using the Harvest Sunset Bundle by SVG Cuts. So me and two of my friends decided to make a wreath using the sunflowers file. And the first um, collaboration is going to be with Gail Lopez here on YouTube and I'll link her channel down below. This is a reach she made so check out her video on how she made it you guys. And I also wanted to feature my friend Gina which is crafty by nature on Instagram. She made a beautiful wreath with red sunflowers so please check her out guys show her some love. So I decided to go with a cherry blonde sunflower and for that, um, once I have everything cut out, I went with the seedless preserves distressing and I'm just adding blotches of color to the inner parts of the petals. And this doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just adding it so that because in the pictures that I was inspired from, um, it looked like a color between purple and burgundy. So I will be doing the blending with this distressing which is called H Mahogany. And I'm just blending, concentrating the ink on the inner part of the petals, working my way out, but I'm leaving the tips at the natural original cardstock color, which is um, in this case I use the cream cardstock. And as you can see, I'm just blending it from the inside of the petals to the outside. So this is what it ended up looking like and I really love the look of this um, sunflower. So here I am doing it again and I did it to all of the petals, the petal shapes that I cut out. I also distressed on the edges of some of the leaves and for that I used the distressing called mowed lawn and I just went on the edge and added a little bit of depth in the middle so I just added some color in the middle as a line. So in the instruction video for this file um, Mary showed her sunflower had three pet, three leaves um, and in the file for the seven sunflowers you get some with two leaves and some with one leaf so I made a mistake and I actually decided to glue um, the one leaf part on top of the two leaf part so then I would end up with three leaves on my flower but you don't have to do that you guys could just use two leaves on some on one of the flowers and one leaf on the other flower and sorry for being out of frame here guys um but all i'm doing is curling the edges of the leaves and slightly creasing them down the middle so that they look a little more like a leaf so here i am just um gluing one of the one leaf petals one leaf portions on top of the two leaf portions so now they're together and they form a three leaf portion and I'm just assembling it how she showed in the video So for the petals, I just got a bone folder and curled the petals outward and after that I creased um, them at the base up because in the sunflowers that I've seen the petals are like very standing, standing up so um, that's what I decided to do and I'm just assembling it how they showed in the video which is petals number 3, 2 and then 1.
now I am gluing down the center which I just used a mixture of copper glitter, black glitter, orange glitter and some clear micro beads glitter and that's all I did for the center and I'm just weighing it down with my favorite mug so it could dry and this is what it looks like so after that dried I just went and added some glue to the edge so that the joint between the center and the petals didn't look so harsh and added some of the some more of the mixed glitter so now I just fluff up the petals because I like this flower to be really I don't know wild and not very neat and they're getting ready to be put into my wreath so for the wreath I used two rolls of burlap that I got at Walmart for $3.47 and um, I used an 18 inch wire wreath form and I made a mistake here and tied the burlap on the wrong side but what you have to do is tie your um, Right now I'm tying the mesh which is going to be the accent ribbon and you have to tie it from the back so the raised part of the wreath has to be on the bottom and now I'm doing it correctly. I'm tying it from the bottom, the back which is the part that's not indented. So now we flip it over and we have the raised part in the front and this is when we're going to start weaving the burlap through. So you just have to pull burlap through like if you were crocheting if you know how to crochet but all you do is pull the burlap through and first you pull it through the outer part then the middle part then the inner part and then you pull your accent ribbon in this case I'm using the green mesh from Dollar Tree through the middle and then we go again burlap through the outer part the middle part and then the inner part and then the decorative mesh through the middle again so you just have to repeat that process until you go all the way around the whole wreath so burlap in the outer, then the middle, and then the inner part. And you could fluff, fluff the little poofs that you're forming as you go, or you could just wait until the middle, until you're done, you know, pulling all the ribbon through, all the burlap and all your mesh. Or you can always change it up, use different color ribbon, and in this case like I said I'm using the decorative mesh but you can also do it with some white ribbon or just all burlap you don't even need the the accent um, ribbon so I'm just gonna do that all the way around the wreath until I'm done and when I'm finished with one of the rolls all you have to do is just tie it off when you when you're done and then tie in the new the new roll and it doesn't have to be perfect because in the back you can't even notice any imperfections. So here I'm going to tie in my new roll of um, burlap and my decorative mesh will also be tied off soon. And you just continue the weaving process until you go all the way around the wreath.
So once you're finished, you're just gonna hide those loose ends and this is the fun part where you get to make your wreath all poofy and perfect and you just go around looking for any poofs that you want to exaggerate more fluff it up how you see that you like it so once it's all fluffed up it's time to add the sunflowers and for that I'm going to add um, a pipe cleaner to the back of them with some hot glue and I'm just gonna tie them around the wreath form and um, just twist the, the pipe cleaner in the back and they will stay nice and secure and you can just arrange all the sunflowers however you want I wanted them all in a cluster in one of the sides so I'm just arranging all seven sunflowers um, it's more near the bottom and all you have to do is just hot glue a pipe cleaner and use the pipe cleaner as wire and just twist it in the back And this is what they look like after I tied all of them, all seven sunflowers. And I just really love how they look and a little cluster in the corner. Well, not the corner, but an edge of the wreath. And I used this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I used the whole nine feet to tie a bow on the top. And as you can see here, I added some orange lights from the Dollar Tree, which I didn't really like. I might switch them out to clear lights. But this is the finished wreath, you guys. It's really easy to make. I hope you guys give it a try. Here it is without the lights. I just love how it came out. I love the color scheme that I picked for this wreath. And like I said, I hope you guys give it a try. It's really fun and really easy to make these wreaths. And you can always change them up to any time of the season. So don't forget to check out... Um, Gail Lopez, thank you Gail for collabing with me in this wreath. I love your wreath and I love you your wreath also, Gina. Please check out Gail's YouTube channel. I'll link her down below and check out Gina on Instagram so you guys can show them some love. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time.